okay. <laughs> I really wanted to present. Uh, <laughs> this is this is the demo. Okay, so the into six um, our team from MCONF contributed something which is the uh, live uh, captions, which uh, use Google Web Speech, which is a really it's a really simple to integrate API from Google, where uh, every browser will. Um, uh, send uh, their audio into Google. This works on Chrome, only on Chrome, right? And uh, the audio goes to Google servers. They use their magic AI stuff, transcribe it and send it back. And then uh, Big Blue Button will have the audio for each user and we can uh, do live captions. This is all good, but uh, it uses Google, which uh, uh, is a propri proprietary system. And also this is really, um, painful for people all around Europe and actually in Brazil uh, with our new legislation because uh, of the data privacy. So the idea here is let's use uh, one of the newer open uh, source AI systems so that we can host them ourselves. And that's what we did. Uh, we didn't do it before because this technology is really new. And um, But now uh, me and Arthur, which is kind of shy, he's somewhere but <laughs> he really helped a lot. So we just took the, um, took something called Vosk, which is a, a transcription server that actually uses something called CalD uh, on, the, um, on the background. And so what we're doing technically is really simple. We just intercept the call on FreeSwitch, which is our audio server, the, the audio server that BBB uses. And uh, we use something called mod audio fork. We intercept the call and we send this directly into Vosk and Vosk sends us back uh, JSON messages with uh, information from uh, transcription information. It's not uh, perfect as I guess you're seeing, especially when, uh, when you, you're saying lots of uh, nonsense made up words that programmers use. So this is probably something that's, oh no, it stopped. <laughs> okay, it's back. Uh, so this happens with Google as well. So uh, be be kind with me. But uh, so this is running. Yeah, the, the idea is this is running Vosk, and this is transcribing my audio in real time. This would work for all the users in the session. We can get their audios independently. So that's pretty cool. And here on the side we have. Um, Oh, I'm not sure why it stopped. But the idea is that um, the way that uh, most transcription systems work is that they will give you partial results, which uh, as you see, uh, can change over time because uh, the AI maybe is uh, more sure uh, of a better translation the more you, you speak, right? So, and uh, we display those partial results. And then when it's, uh, kind of sure that you finish the sentence because maybe because you stopped talking for a while or maybe because it just thinks it should end there, it will give you something that like a final result. So the idea is that we, this is an etherpad, which is actually kind of, um, uh, it's an old system that we had for transcriptions, where it's just uh, someone, a transcriber would be transcribing them, manually typing them. And uh, this is kind of um, a mashup of the, both systems. So when we have the final result, it will just be printed, uh, actually added, appended to the etherpad. Um, it's a live demo, so something went wrong here. <laughs> but uh, until, uh, until a few moments ago, it was just sending the messages there. And the idea is that after the messages have passed, someone could just uh, edit them and fix the um, bad, some bad translations, bad transcriptions and stuff. But I think that's it. Um, going forward, um, the, the components that we did to kind of glue this together, uh, we're making it configurable so we could have something, uh, other transcription servers. The other candidate is uh, Whisper, uh, OpenAI Whisper, which is something that maybe 
if uh, we got lucky, we can get working before the end of the afternoon because it's kind of um, a matter of uh, doing the, the handshake. It's expecting and sending the data in the correct format, but it shouldn't be too hard. But that's the demo. That's it. <laughs>